In this video tutorial, we will learn how to decrypt data file. We have sample file containing encrypted text. We will decrypt this file and generate login.txt file containing plain text. This file is encrypted using Caesar cipher algorithm. To learn how to encrypt a data file, refer a link given in the description of this video. Let's see the actual output in my demo folder. I have one sample file containing encrypted content. When we run our program, we wanted to generate a login file containing original plain text. Now let's understand the actual program. First of all, open sample.txt file in read mode. Then open login.txt file in write mode. Then using a looping concept, read one by one character from sample data file, decrypt it and write it into a login.txt file. Let's understand C program to decrypt a file. We need two file pointer variables to manage input and output operation. Then we need one temporary care type variable for processing purpose. Using fopen function, we will open sample.txt file in read mode. Using this logic, we will check any file read error. In case of any error, we will exit this program. Then using fopen function, we will open login.txt file in write mode. Once again, in case of any file write error, we will come out of this program. Then using fgetc function, we will read one character from this input file pointer. This input file pointer will read one character from this sample.txt file. That one character will be saved into this ch variable. Then we write a loop. Using this loop, we will read one by one character from this sample.txt file. We will track end of file character. So we will read one character from this file and then using fputc function, we will write this character into output file pointer. This output file pointer is pointing to this login.txt file. So we are writing ch-3 into this output file pointer. I will explain why we are writing ch-3 in a minute. After this fputc function, get one more character from this input file. If that character is end of file character, then come out of this loop. If it is not end of file character, then once again, write that character minus 3 into this output file pointer. Get your next character from input file, check it again. If it is not end of file, then put it into output file. This process we are repeating up to end of file character. After processing all characters, we display appropriate message. And finally, we close both the file pointers. Now let's run this code. So you can see decryption process is completed successfully and login.txt file is generated. Now let's talk about the reason behind this ch-3 in our program. Sample.txt file contains user ID and password stored in encrypted form. This file is encrypted using Caesar cipher algorithm with key equal to 3. So let's take a brief overview about Caesar cipher algorithm. Caesar cipher is oldest and easy to use cryptographic algorithm. Encryption process in Caesar cipher replaces each letter by third letter in a row. That means key equal to plus 3. So if your plain text character is A, add 3 into A, we will get D as our cipher text character. Likewise, B becomes E and C becomes F. So effectively, this plain text A to Z characters 
will become D to Z and then again A, B, C because we have only 26 letters in alphabet. Let's understand with simple example. Suppose our plain text content is hello, H, E, L, L, O. So to get cipher text, look at this, add 3 into H. So we will get K. So this is our corresponding cipher text character. L becomes O and similarly O becomes R. So this is how plain text in hello becomes cipher text K H O O R. Scissor cipher decryption process is exactly reverse of the encryption process. Decryption process replaces third letter but on left side. That means key equal to minus 3. Let's understand with example. In our example we have cipher text K H O O R. So this is our cipher text character on left side minus 3. So 1, 2 and 3. So K becomes H. Look at the corresponding mapping. Similarly, H becomes E and O becomes L and R becomes O while generating plain text back. So to summarize, during encryption process what we are doing is we are adding 3 into plain text to generate cipher text character and in decryption what we are doing is from cipher text we are subtracting 3 to generate plain text character pair. So this is the reason why we are subtracting 3 here because this is our decryption program.